everybody, Day really here again with another reading of Destiny's Princess with uh, Yukimura here. And as usual, remember to check out my main channel where I read much better because uh, I actually edit and try harder and everything. <laughs> and this is just my amateur channel basically where I don't edit and I'm reading quickly just for me and my sister, sister mostly. All right, we're on chapter four here, Run to the Hills. I don't know why we're running to the hills. There you are. Oh, hey, Saya. Yukimura, sitting idly on the veranda, broke into a smile when he saw me. When did you sneak out of your room? Everyone's looking for you. Uh, it was too boring just laying down all day. But how else will your wounds heal? I'm fine. But... Jeez, you're already nagging to... You you really are a nagging tanuki. The madder you get, the more you look like one. Yukimura then let out a laugh. The profile of his face was unchanged from before. Or at least, that's how it appeared. Huh? But we're brother and sister. As your sister, I promise I'll always stay by your side. Oh. That's not what he wanted to hear. He wanted to hear that I would be by his side, not as his sister. That day, he'd been terribly, he'd been terribly depressed, but I knew that was the right thing to say. A few days later, I was now sure of it. Regardless of whatever blood connection we may or may not have, he was my brother, at least in everybody else's eyes. Everyone around believes so, and that's how I thought about him as well, as a dear brother. And besides, whatever he's feeling for me aren't truly his own feelings. They could have been the feelings of my true lost brother. Yukimura was the only one thinking of those feelings as his own. Not that there were... Not that there was any way to be sure of that, with my brother gone and my own memories faint. What are you two doing? I suddenly noticed Hanbei standing behind me. Hanbei, how long have you been there? A while. Hanbei smiled lightly and then sat down on the veranda. Neither of you seem to notice me at all, just staring at each other. <sighs> uh. Yukimura and I exchanged a glance. <laughs> well, we weren't doing anything improper. It's okay. You don't have to blush. A blush blossomed on both my and Yukimura's cheeks. I will pretend not to understand. I don't know what you're talking about. W what are you talking about, Hanbei? Really, I don't much like the way you phrase that. I was simply checking to see just how much my sister's face resembled that of a tanuki. Yukimura! <laughs> oh god, that was a horrible laugh. <laughs> That was bad, too. Never mind, I'm giving up. Both of our mouths dropped open at Hanbei's laughter. Yeah, you see how often I go through in my main channel, I would have to do that laugh like like three times before I got the right laugh, and then I would have to edit the right one in and cut the other ones out. <laughs> Both our mouths dropped open at Hanbei's laughter. Hanbei cleared his throat and then returned to his usual, ex his usual serious expression. I apologize. I just thought it was nice to see you two getting along so well. By the way, Yukimura, how are your wounds? Hardly a problem. I'll be ready for battle by tomorrow. Yukimura gave a quick show of his ability to move. Watching him off to the side, I too felt relieved to see. Thank goodness that, was heal that he was healing quickly, despite how serious his, in his injury had looked. I thought that Hanbei... Took looked somehow relieved. <laughs> ah, with the language in this! I thought Hanbei looked somehow relieved, I think is what they meant. That's wonderful, but still, I beg you not to push yourself before you're ready. Hanbei's right. You have a tendency to be careless and reckless. You guys don't have to tell me that. I promise, I'll be good to take it easy. Haven't you promised that before? Yukimura gave a light wave of his hand and then turned to Hanbei with a serious gaze. So, how far is the war? Masamune and Kotaro had the castle well protected. I see. Yukimura nodded, then bowed his head toward Hanbei. I... I apologize to you, Masamune and Kotaro, and to all of the troops. Due to my actions, our casualties have increased. That's an unusually admirable thing of you to admit. Hanbei smiled sarcastically. Rather than apologize, just take care that it doesn't happen again. Masamune had said Yukimura was injured going off alone to help an isolated soldier, but Yukimura casually shook his head. I can't make that promise. 
Yeah, he'd probably do it again. Yukimura. Hanbei frowned, but Yukimura didn't back down. I won't abandon men who trust and follow us. That won't do that won't do anyone any good. However, I will be more careful not to be injured next time. Ugh. Hanbei sighed and shrugged, and then stood up. I can see there's no convincing you, so I suppose we can make that we can make that promise? What promise? Are you finished lecturing are you finished lecturing me yet? You understand better than I expected, so I'm inclined to forgive and forget. Hanbei gave a quick bow to me, then left. Again, Yukimura and I were left alone. Ah, alone with my dear beloved, not brother. As the conversation ground to a halt, a little awkwardness set in. I shall change the subject. By the way, Yukimura, don't you have to reapply your medicine? Yukimura answered me with his gaze still averted. Yeah, but don't worry about that. I'll get someone else to do it. Don't be silly. I'm your sister. I can do it. But... I started to speak, but then stopped. Yes, that was for the best. After all, we're attracted to each other, and we're brother and sister, supposedly, and nobody should think that anything else is going on. For a while, it would be best if Yukimura and I avoided being alone together. I see. Please do. I'll be helping out in the kitchen anyway. Uh, uh, really? Are they gonna let me in there? You? Help in the kitchen? Yeah, what about it? Help, huh? I would just expect a Tanuki to be a, more of a bother than a help there. Yukimura! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he laughed and then just went right back into the pout there. Yukimura laughed, looked up at me, and then again looked away. From beside him, I watched his expression change. It looked like... It looked like he was holding back anger. What's wrong? You look angry all of a sudden. Actually, he looks depressed to me. Yukimura? Hanbei is a good man. Huh? Huh? What made you change your mind? I didn't change my mind. I felt that way for a long time. He's always been a little sarcastic, but deep down he's not all that... At that point, Yukimura suddenly stopped and tilted, and tilted his head. Huh? That's not right. I feel like he used to be a much nicer guy. But I also had the impression that he's always been mean. Why would that be? Because you've known him in two lives. Uh... Yukimura was thoroughly puzzled. I guess that perhaps his memories had been scrambled. The fiancé I could remember in my faint memories had been a kind person. But the way that Yukimura spoke about him... Could Yukimura and Hanbei have known each other in the other world the dagger had spoken of? Yep. Yukimura apparently had grown weary of wondering. He slapped his legs and then spoke. Anyway... Hanbei is a good guy. You should have married him. He's the one who called it off, not me. Astounded, I replied. Why are you bringing that up now? That issue's already long since over. It's not over. Yukimura roared and shook his fist. If it hadn't been for that, I would have... Yukimura. Yukimura made no move to look at me. Does this mean he can't hold himself back any longer because I'm available now? I will feel angry. As I stared at Yukimura's profile, I felt myself getting extremely angry. If it weren't for that, then what? <laughs> then what? I already knew. It was I who had gotten Yukimura and the others involved in this war. And that was where everything had started, so whatever Yukimura was worried about, it was my fault. I had no right to blame him. But even so, I also couldn't accept his feelings like this. After a heavy silence, Yukimura struggled to speak. Sorry. Uh, You're right. It's no use. I have nothing to do with whatever happened between you two. Yukimura stood up and started to walk off. Where are you going? I must be a little loopy from oversleeping. I'm going to walk it off before I say anything else. But if you do that, your wounds... I'll take it easy, I promise. With a final casual smile, Yukimura turned the corner and disappeared. With that... You better be taking it easy too, Jen. My sister. Sorry for the interruption. I stood rooted in place, unable to go after him. The sun shone in the courtyard. And here you never you never knew the you'd never know there was a war going on outside. 
maybe I should just confess everything. How I'd lost my how I'd lost my relatives, watched the castle burn, and turned to the dagger for help. How I'd summoned Yukimura and the others here in exchange for trading out my memories. I need a drink again, sorry. That everything Yukimura remembered of the past were my real late were my real late brother's memories. If even after knowing all those truths, he still had feelings for me. If he did, then what? I felt my cheeks redden at my own whisper. I liked Yukimura. His easygoing optimism and bright personality was soothing in the midst of this wartime. But it's impossible. If he knew, he would surely hate me. He might even wish to return to his own world. Hey, you! In a quiet voice, I addressed the dagger. Hello, hello. What can I help you with? The people that I bought here, if they found out the truth, what would happen? Would they... want to go back to their old worlds? Well, well, it's certainly a possibility that they would return. The false memories are the only tie to this land. Without them, returning would be an easy feat. I see. I... I lost my place. Um, I don't want that. No. I don't want Yukimoto to go back. That was the spontaneous whisper of my heart. Just how selfish a woman could I be? Summoning them all here, hurting them, and now whining about not wanting them to leave. Them? Suddenly, I realized something. Was it really all of them going back to their own worlds that I was opposed to? No. It was Yukimura. Princess, you really don't have to do any of that. I had asked to help, but had been turned out of the kitchen again. <laughs> Why do I even bother try going to the kitchen anymore? They had been polite enough, but I still got the impression that my presence was a bother. So I'd gone to the sewing room to help with the mending, but had been met with the same attitude. Really, I'm as bad at sewing. I thought I could sew decently at least. It's fine. I'm not very good, but I'll be more help there, here than the kitchen. So please, let me let me at least do what I can. Half by force, I'd grabbed some sewing to do and, and bought it back to my room. In the last of the fading evening light, I darned some of the soldiers' clothing. Each piece was well worn from daily battles. Tears, bite marks. I could tell by the clothing just how different a war with demons was than a war with humans. As I sewed, I felt my feelings becoming calmer. It's nice to do some sewing once in a while. I'd always preferred horseback riding, tree climbing, and archery to more ladylike activities. I wasn't good at sewing, so I never expected that needlework could be so calming. Whenever my heart grew quiet, it became apparent what I had to do. To do. I have to tell them. Sooner or later, I had to tell them of the terrible crimes I'd committed. But as of now, I couldn't afford to have them leave. I knew it was selfish of me, but I didn't want any more people to die. We were too weak, that's why we lost and why everyone had died. I knew it was one of the natural consequences of war, but I couldn't stand to see any more death. Once again, but once the war was over, I would tell them. Then, even if they were angry at me, I would be prepared to accept the blame for my sins. So at least until the war was over, I wanted to be on friendly terms with Yukimura. Of course, this too was my own selfish desire, but still, how could I go about making it up to him? Brother or not, I'd only just met him. I had no earthly idea what I could do. Give him your body! Oh my goodness, is this? I noticed a belt jumbled in among the pile of clothes I was carrying. I wonder if this is Yukimura's. No, that wasn't right. This wasn't Yukimura's. It was my brother's belt. I'd never seen one of Yukimura's used, but if I recognize this as my brother's, it must be so. But... How did it get here? I idly traced my finger along its surface. It was a flowery, slate-gray-colored belt. The color brought back a memory. Forgive me. Huh? All of a sudden, a voice echoed within my head. What's with these flowers? I picked them. For me? Yup, so don't be mad anymore. It hurts too much to see you mad at me. I couldn't remember his face. I couldn't even clearly remember his voice. But yet, inside of me, something was still there. 
the slate gray color, the slate gray color of, my, of the flowers my brother had picked for me. Flowers for forgiveness. I felt like my brother had taught me that. Something warm brushed against my cheek. Since the night the castle had fallen, I'd had no spare time to cry. As if the dam had been broken through, all of those pent-up tears now flowed freely. Can you forgive me for not forgetting you? I mean, can you forgive me for forgetting you? Forgive me, brother, for never realizing how you felt about me. Forgive me for my feelings now toward Yukimura. I felt like I heard the words. Yes, I forgive you. It seemed as if this belt had come here to give me that message. Maybe that was just a convenient delusion, but I wanted to believe it was true. So have we accepted that our twin brother was actually in love with us? By the time I finished my sewing, it was late into the night. The place my brother had picked flowers had been on castle grounds, but outside the central bailey. I'd heard the demons had surrounded the castle at a distance, but maybe I could still go. That's a bad idea! Of course, if I said anything, I'd be stopped. Not that I felt obliged to... Mm, not that I felt like obliging an attendant, anyway. I could wait until morning, I thought, but in the end, my impatience went out. This is such a bad idea! That spot has a good lookout. As long as I'm careful, I should be fine. Taking the secret path, I snuck quietly out of the castle. Horrible! Yes! The land lay is... The land lay in ruin as far as I could see, but the flowers I sought had somehow survived. Now all I had to do was quickly pick them. I casually walked over toward them, and then I let out a scream. Ah! Someone had abruptly popped up from where they were crouched in the middle of the flowers. It's Yukimura, isn't it? He had the same memory, and he came out to pick flowers for me. I thought it was a demon, but quickly realized it wasn't. They, they too shouted in surprise. Hey! Oh, Yep, Yukimura picking flowers for me. Y yukimura! Saya! Yukimura's eyes were wide. What are you- what are you doing here? I came to pick some flowers. What were you doing? Oh, uh, obviously the same thing. I- well, uh- Yukimura averted his gaze and awkwardly scratched his head. After a moment of struggling, Desperately, finally desperately, he spat out a curt answer. I, I thought that maybe if I gave you flowers, it would cheer you up. So you came all the way out here? So what if I did? Is that so wrong? Well, yeah, you're supposed to be in the castle where people know you are. Remember what happened last time? Yukimura's tone was positively annoyed. I shall... Tell him it's okay. No, nothing's wrong with that. The one who'd always bought me flowers after that, uh, after a fight, had been my real brother. But maybe I could believe that it truly was Yukimura himself that wanted to make up. It's a good thing I was here. What if a demon had attacked you all on your own? Yukimura thrust a bouquet of flowers at me. Come on, let's go back. I already got the flowers, so I don't need any more. Let's enjoy these flowers together. But I came to get flowers for you. Let's exchange. Yes, you're right. I dropped my gaze to the bouquet and gently pressed my cheek against Yukimura's chest. <gasps> Improper! Uh, hey, what's the matter? Maybe it was my imagination, but it felt like Yukimura's heart was racing. Yukimura? What? There's something I have to tell you. What is it? Not yet. Once this is all over... Well, why am I saying anything now, then? Once it was over, I would tell him. Then I would be prepared to accept whatever happened. I don't really get it. Once the war is over, you're going to tell me something, right? Uh, I nodded, and Yukimura for some reason smiled. Understood. I can't wait. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything if I wasn't going to finish it there. That's really annoying when somebody says, I gotta tell you something, but not now. You just have to wait. You're like, no, just tell me now! Oh, it's really annoying. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I will pick this up quickly, just momentarily on my side. Hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.